Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to walk through all the developer option settings in the OnePlus One. So if you go to settings menu, you can find these developer options here. If you can't find it, just go to about phone and then tap this build number 7 times. So you will become developer and then you will get these developer options. So in these developer options there are many options are there so I'll discuss all of, all of them now first of all select launch tools many launch tools you can take first one is developer options itself and many testing purpose this isn't purely for the developers there is no use for the normal users anyway it's like account tester bad behavior cache abuser configuration connectivity all these services are mainly for the developers so if you take in the next option there is a re advanced reboot option normally if you press and try to reboot you will ask a single a normal simple reboot dialog but instead if you click on advanced reboot and then try to click on reboot option you can find reboot soft reboot means a, uh, a fast reboot and then reboot to recovery and reboot to bootloader so you will get all those options if you click on advanced reboot next stay awake if you clear Click on this one, the screen will never sleep while charging or plugged in. Uh, next option is like process status. So it will show all the process, application process which was run on the memory of the time. So you can see Facebook, Facebook Messenger and all. From here you can also get the good idea which process is actually draining your batteries and all. So that is there. And then enable quick boot mode. If you just check this one, the power of the phone will power off uh, within two seconds. It's that fast. You can try that one. And then update CM recovery. This you have to disable this click when you are trying to root the phone. I'll, I'll get into you later. And here is the Android debugging mode. This is the Android ADB or Android USB debugging mode. You can turn it on. And then ADB over a network. network. So you, if you click on that one, you can actually access the ADB over the Wi Fi or USB networks. And here is the Android device host name. You can change it if you want. And from here, you can revoke all the USB debugging. There it is. Then Power Menu bug report. If you click on that one, you can see there is a bug report button here in Power Menu. And then allow mock locations. If you are using any GPS uh, application to mock your location, you have to turn it on. Other than that, verify apps or if you are trying to install any apps over the USB, they will ask for the verification. And if you click on this one, import option, it will show the patches here, you can see. And pointer location, if you click on that one, you can see P, X, Y and all the access information there. Uh, next it's about the animation scale windows animation scale and then transition animation scale you can turn it you can uh, uh, decrease it for a uh, fast animations this will be helpful if you need fast animation you can go there and force GPU rendering it's like forcing your GPU to render the 2d graphics it's it will be helpful for for some games and all, you can try that one. Other than that, okay, here in app section, you can find a don't keep activities in the memory. So, whenever you leave an app, it will destroy from the memory. And here is the option you can select runtime whether you need Dalvik or either need Art. And background uh, process limit it's like standard limits it, like uh, how many processes you need to keep in memory so you can select all for this one and then kill back apps there's an option so if you press back button for a long time and then it will kill the currently running app so these are the options you need to remember I hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more